Namaste friends. Today I will discuss Donald Trump's chart who has been in news recently. And just to refresh, in 2020 I predicted that Trump will lose the presidential election and he will leave only after violence. I also said that the results will seem close enough to Trump to keep fighting. He will go to courts, promote unrest from his supporters and try to create chaos. We saw what happened on January 6th the capital attack. He will also break some norms of electoral politics always taken for granted. He did put pressure on some Republican office holders to change the results or, or manipulate the electoral slates etc. So we know all those things now. So this panned out pretty well and in 2021 not directly related to Trump but somewhat indirect I predicted that Biden will not be re-elected in 2024 and may not even complete this term, the current term and the final year is particularly critical for him. And I also said based on the annual lunar chart of US that presidency is likely to change party in 2024. Of course, after I see the exact candidates and their charts, I can make a final prediction. But just based on US chart, I expected a change of party in uh, having the presidency in 2024. So putting these things together many friends inquired will Trump be back and legally he is allowed to come back he, though he contested the second term because he lost he can come back uh, he can contest again in 2024 so people ask me will he come back and I did not really talk about Trump much in the in the in the recent times but in April 2022 Panchanga Sravanam video I said that he will still matter in his party and the uh, legal news will tighten during this year. So this caused some confusion, some people could not reconcile, put these two together. So I'll try to clarify that in this video. Uh, as far as the still mattering in the party is concerned, his approval rating is still very high in the Republican party. And several primary candidates who were endorsed by him, a majority of them actually won the primaries. And the three Republican House members who voted against him uh, to impeach him after the January 6th event, they were booted out in the Republican primary. So he still matters in the party. He's still a big voice in the party and still has a lot of following. And the legal news is tightening. Several cases are slowly progressing. And recently there were FBI raids. raids. But the thing is, these kind of raids can play both the ways. They can either destroy the person or they can charge up the base and also motivate him to run in 2024. So I took a fresh look at his future, fresh look at his chart. And for those who follow me on Facebook, I shared a long term outlook many years back, even within his first term. But I wanted to approach with an open mind. And I, I did that and took a fresh look at his chart. And I will share my findings first and then go through the analysis. In the short term, in the next few years, I expect that the court cases will intensify in 2020-23, in the year that is going on. And the legal news will really start to tighten. And it may significantly impact his political calculus in the 2023-2024 time frame. And I expect that these cases will drag on for a long time. I don't expect any bombshell to come out of the... FBI raids that happened a couple of days back and then suddenly he's he's in jail or I don't expect anything like that. I expect that there will be some cases. There are existing cases and there may be new cases but these cases will just drag on for a long time and much of the base, his base will remain behind him, solidly behind him for several more years, possibly till the end of 2025. Till then he will have strong support in the masses and I expect that the right wing will be galvanized for 2024 based on what has recently happened. But as far as 2024 is concerned, June 2024 to June 2025 is not good for him. It shows a blow to his political career and not getting political power. So I don't see any chance of Trump winning in 2024, becoming president again in 2024. He may not even become the Republican Party nominee because the Republican 
national convention happens after june 2024 so that year is not good for him so it is unlikely that he will be the republican candidate in 2024 so he may not run or more or actually i should say more likely he may not run or another republican he will run and another republican will beat him in either case i don't expect that he will be the republican nominee and i certainly don't expect him to become president again in 2024 but he may end up helping the republican party indirectly but in the long term what i said on facebook several years back i it still holds when i look at his uh, long term dasha a bad long term dasha is running for him from june 2020 till june 2036 a really bad dasha is running for him and it shows lack of peace and happiness terrible and confused state of mind and some mental problems developing in this period and even restriction of movements is possible something like imprisonment being restricted to a mental asylum or having to leave the country are possible for him so uh, long term things are not good for him in the short term he will keep fighting there will be really serious fights legal fights and he will they will drag on for years and while that happens his supporters will cheer him on but all that may be taken advantage by somebody else not him in 2024 and by the way what i said here it need not necessarily be immediate there is a long window till 2036 so this can happen later down the down, uh, down the line not not necessarily immediately now let us look at some astrological analysis behind what i said so this is the chart of donald trump and we can see that his sun and moon uh, moon are closely afflicted by rahu and ketu moon is at 29 degree and ketu is at around 29 degree so basically less than half a degree and rahu is at the end of taurus and sun is at the beginning so again within couple of degrees so so both his uh, sun stands for soul and moon stands for mind both of them are badly afflicted and if you look at the shashyamsa both of them are in rakshas shashyamsa and shashyamsa is the chart that shows the subtle sub, uh, karmic uh, uh, instincts within you basically this is the it shows basically who you are at the subtlest level and he is not really a desirable person he is he is a very uh he is a very unstable person this this debilitated moon in deep gandanta eclipsed by ketu uh, by the way he was born on a lunar eclipse day so this basically shows somebody who is extremely unstable who is very unpredictable and he is not really a friend of anybody he is he he is an extremely self centered selfish person but anyway let us look at the let us forget about his personality look at his dasha and lagna lord sun is in a kendra from rahu if you look at the longitude they are actually in the within 2 degrees so rahu is in the first house from sun so ashtotri dasha applies and mars is in ajmit rasi the controlling planet so ashtotri that dominates over vimshotri so if you look at this dasha sun sun, sun is the lagna lord aspecting the fifth house in the 11th house of gains aspecting fifth house of power so that is why in the sun dasha he became the uh, president of us and that dasha ended in june 2020 and moon dasha will run from june 2020 till june 2035 and as i said earlier moon is debilitated in deep gandanta eclipse so it shows deep mental problems emotional problems and he is also the 12th lord of bandhana Which, which can show imprisonment, uh, leaving country and going somewhere else, or uh, being in a mental asylum. Lot of possibilities are there. So that is why I expect that from a long term perspective, this is a terrible dasha for him. Sun dasha was superb, but this is likely to be a terrible. By the way, even Venus dasha was pretty good for him. He's the tenth lord in the twelfth house, so there were some upsets in the career. There were a bunch of bankruptcies, but the thing is, once he found the entertainment field he was again very successful so anyways let us look at dashamsha that is a very important chart if you i think i think all the planets are in the same houses as shown in the dashamsha chart in bhava chakra so we don't need to really look at it let's look at the dasha the most applicable dasha is tara dasha from moon so vimshotri dasha of d10 from moon so if you look at this dasha 
you will see that uh, uh, Rahu Dasya made him president. If you look at Rahu Dasya, Rahu is in a friendly house, actually Adhimitra Rasi, he is the fifth lord of power. Saturn is also fifth lord of power, but Rahu is also the fifth lord of power. So fifth lord of power aspecting the 10th house. So that is why in the Rahu, Rahu Dasya, he became, he became the president and specifically it happened in the Mercury period. Mercury is the ninth lord in a Raj Yoga with the Lagna lord. So he takes part in a Raj Yoga. So fifth lord Dasya, ninth lord Dantar Dasya, that, that made him the president. And if we, if we look at the current period, currently sun period is running and usually Rahu Sun and Rahu Moon are not really good periods because they are enemies and specifically from Rahu, Sun is the tenth, eighth lord in the sixth house. So it shows some uh, setbacks, some legal troubles, etc., some anxieties, etc. So this is not a good period. And Moon, he is closely aspected by Rahu and given that Moon and Moon is eclipsed in the Rashi chart also, this aspect of Rahu on enemy Moon is not really favorable. And taking Rahu as Lagna, he is seventh lord in the seventh. So that is Marka, Marka house. So again, this is not really a good dasa for him. So these two periods are not really good for him. Uh, so, so we don't really, I don't really expect him to be re-elected in this period. But the thing is, because he runs Rahu Dasa till 2025, it shows following. Rahu being the fifth lord will give a lot of following. Lot of people loving him, falling in love with him. So that is, his following is likely to continue till then. And to look at the next few years, let us look at the annual charts. Let's look at 2022 annual chart, the current Tataka chart. And you can see that in this chart, the, let us make the, Actually, first look at the Rasi chart. In the Rasi chart, uh, the Hora Lord, the ruler of the year is Mercury. He is the 8th Lord in the 7th house. So, ruler of the year is Marka. 8th Lord in 7th shows death or death-like suffering. So, and he is with son, the 10th Lord. So, relating to career, some serious suffering. So, that, uh, that, that is negative. But the Lagna Lord is well placed. Lagna Lord is in 5th house with the 5th Lord and with a Raj Yoga. I don't know how close they are. They are reasonably close, 10 degrees, not, not too bad, not too strong also. And seventh lord, seven shows your friends. He is in the sixth house in Manakarakasthana, Venus, afflicted by Rahu. So with this Venus-Rahu combination shows lot of uh, legal troubles, uh, legal troubles relating to patriotism Venus and relating to scandals Rahu. But there is some legal trouble possible in this, uh, in this, uh, in this period, serious legal troubles and also a lot of suffering, but there is some blessing also. But the thing is, more than Lagna Lord, the Hora Lord being Mercury. So, I think there are enough negatives. There are some positives, but there are enough negatives. And the other Lagna Lord, Ketu, is in the 12th house. So, that is not good. So, one Lagna Lord is good, another Lagna Lord is bad. But the thing is, the 5th Lord Jupiter is in the 5th house. So, it shows good following. And specifically in the Dashamsa chart, if we make the Bhav Chakra for Dashamsa, Saturn is the fifth lord in the fifth house. So again, the following mass following will not reduce. So I don't anticipate that suddenly something will happen, something will come out of this FBI raid and then suddenly all his followers will start hating him. That's not happening this year. His following will continue during this year. And we saw that in the natal chart that's also. But the thing is the tenth house has Ketu in it. So that is not good. Ketu will cause depletion to whichever house he is in. So it is problematic for the career. And Sun, the Karaka for political power is uh, afflicted by Rahu and this Sun-Rahu combination. And by the way, they, uh, yeah, and they are aspecting the 10th house. Oh, Sun is actually in the, let's look at the longitudes. Okay. Sun is actually in the third house. So he, and where is Venus? Yeah, Venus is closer than, than uh, okay. So, Lagna Lord Venus is eclipsed, uh, afflicted by Bhadaka Lord's son. So, that is problematic. And also Marka Mars, 2nd and 7th Lord, 
he is exalted and he is aspecting the 10th house and there is a Mars Rahu Ketu axis on the 10th house and the 10th Lord Moon is in the 12th house of loss. So overall this is not really a good year for career and the 6th Lord Jupiter is in the 7th house so basically some enmities. So some Republican leaders may support him but the thing is even though his support in the masses will continue some Republican leaders may start to take some nuanced stands against him during this year and if you look at the Taj Ka chart of 2023 you can see that the Lagna Lord Lagna Lord's son is an inimical sign inimical sign uh, uh, in the sixth house so Lagna Lord in the sixth house is an inimical sign so having to fight lot of fights during this year in his career and he is an inimical sign and eclipsed by Ketu afflicted by Ketu so that is not favorable so Lagna Lord has some weakness and if you look at the Lagna the Lagna is in Gannanta deep Gannanta uh, at one degree less than one degree Libra so Lagna is in Gannanta and the tenth Lord Venus he is in Lagna but he is also in Gandanta. So Lagna in Gandanta, 10th Lord in Gandanta and a bunch of planets in the 12th house. So this is not really favorable. The blessing is Mars even though he is an inimical sign, he is Yokarka and he is aspecting the 5th house. So again, by the way, 5th Lord Jupiter is also well placed. He is in a friendly sign. Uh, so 5th house is still strong. So his, his following will still be strong, strong but perhaps this is weaker than 2022 so basically in 2023 there is some lowering of the support but still he continues to have support but there are enough weaknesses in this chart that he will struggle during this year but the real important year is 2024 oh by the way also lagna lord jupiter and fifth lord moon are afflicted by 12th lord rahu so there is guru chandala yoga and also eclipse of moon in the annual chart. Let's look at the 2024 Tadaka chart, that's the key chart. So if you look at the Rasi chart, let's make the Bhava Chakra for Rasi, you will see that even though you may think that Lagna has 5th Lord Venus in it, actually Venus is in the 12th house longitude wise because Lagna is at 21 degree Gemini and Venus is at 2 degree Gemini, so he is more than 90 degrees away. So what it means is the Lagna Lord is in the 12th house with the 12th Lord and then bunch of other planets 3rd Lord, 7th Lord they are also there. So 12th house is very prominent in this chart so there is a there is a possibility of some restriction during this year and also this is a year of losses overall and the and the Dasamsa chart if you see let's make the Bhav Chakra for Dasamsa. In the Dasamsa chart, you will see that Lagna is afflicted by 6th Lord Mercury and 8th Lord Sun. So 6th Lord and 8th Lord in the Lagna is an affliction to Lagna, it is a Duryoga and uh, Venus, the 5th the Lord, 5th Lord Venus, he is on the border of 6th and 7th houses. So he is, he is on the border of his Manakarkasthana and the 7th house. So 5th fifth, uh, fifth Lord is not very not strong or not too weak but he is not he, he 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 has some weak he has some weakness and some strength so fifth lord is not really coming to rescue when the lagna itself is beaten down and the good thing is lagna lord saturn is exalted and is in the 11th house aspecting the fifth house so again even in this year he will continue to have good support from his followers but the thing is this chart is not showing uh, getting political power and, but the thing is there are some positives, the 5th Lord he is on the border of 6th and 7th house, it does not show getting political power but he is not particularly weak. So let us look at Tithi Pravesh chart also, Tithi Pravesh chart of 2024. So in this chart, in the 2024 Tithi Pravesh chart, uh, the 5th Lord of power moon is in the 12th house afflicted by 12th Lord Rahu. So it shows loss of political power or uh, being out of limelight. So it's, it doesn't show political power. Jupiter is pretty strong. He is Lagna Lord and 10th Lord aspecting 10th house. So that is good but 5th uh, house is pretty weak. And 
the sixth house of uh, quarrels, struggles, legal troubles, etc., has sun in it with Ketu, afflicted by Ketu. Sun and Ketu, sun is eclipsed by Ketu. So, basically, sun and moon are eclipsed by Rahu and Ketu, just like in his uh, natal chart, uh, natal Rasi chart. So, this is problematic. So, there can be some serious legal troubles, and it is very unlikely that he will get political power in this year. So, so overall, my expectation is he will he will have serious legal troubles over the next few years, and he will try to he will keep fighting, but he he will either not contest or if he contests, somebody else will beat him. So another Republican will beat him, and they, even though they may seem to support him now, they will slowly turn this against him, make this a liability for him, and so that and try to steer the Republican water base again. Uh, away from him. So, in any case, I do not expect him to become the president in 2024. So, that is basically all I wanted to share today. Uh, thank you very much. Om Tat Sat Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Sarve Jana Sukhino Bhavantu Yavad Bhumandale Sanatana Dharma Vardhatu Viseshadha Bharatakande Amerika Avashe Tibet Rashtrecha Om Shanti Shanti Shanti